Good evening. Here is my last video of the day for you. So the final concept that we are going to be talking about on the test is 100 more and less and 10 more than and less. So we did introduce for the first time this unit, three digit numbers. So the really important thing that we want students to know is how to use this place value chart. So basically all it is is a chart that you can put your numbers into and you can draw this yourself, which you'll see me do down below. And you can place your numbers into the correct boxes to show the place that they're in. So let's say we wanted the number 376. All we would do is we would write 376. It shows that the 6 is in the 1's place, the 7 is in the 10's place, and the um, 3 is in the 100's place. Now, if you ask your child what the value of each of these numbers is, they should be able to answer this. 6 1's, the value of that 6 is simply 6. 7 10's, the value of that 7 is not 7. It's actually 70, because if you count 7 10's, if you count by 10 7 times, you're going to get the number 70. And then if you say 3 hundreds, well, 3 hundreds isn't 3, it's not 30, it's 300. So if you ask your student about expanded form, they'll be able to say that 376 is 300 plus 70 plus 6. This chart is here to show you the values of each of those numbers. So just make sure that your child has that basic understanding right there. So on their test, students are going to be asked, what is 100 or 10 more or less than a certain number? The one big thing that we want to make sure is that students have their highlighter out and they are highlighting what they're asking. So often they'll be asking for 10 more and the students will do 100 more. Or they'll be asking for 10 less and the kids will do 10 more. So they really need to focus on underlining or highlighting what they want. So this question wants 100 more. So the first thing students are going to do is they're going to draw their place value chart. Now, instead of writing the word hundreds, tens, and ones, we just use H for hundreds, T for 10, and O for ones. So all the kids are going to do is they're going to write an H, a T, and an O, and then they're going to draw their lines and make that little table right there. The number that they need to put into that table is 506. 506. It fits in their chart perfectly. If they had a number that was just two digits, they would only need to use the tens and ones. They could ignore that hundred or they could place a zero there. So now that we know we are looking for 100 more than 506, we know that the only place that's going to change is the hundreds place because we're only looking for a hundreds more. There's zero ones and zero tens changing. We're just going 100 more than 506. So the first thing you need to ask your child is, okay, well, what place are we going to look at? Are we looking at the ones, the tens, or the hundreds? We're looking at the hundreds because the, num the number 100 is right there. Let's take a look at the hundreds place. Are we giving the five one more hundred or are we taking a hundred away? Because the student should remember that this is not the number five, this is the number 500. So we're looking for 100 more. Well, we know that one more than five is six. And we know that one more than 500 is 600. So their new answer is going to be 606. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go down and we're going to do another example. The student should be able to read this problem and first identify what they want. This is so important that they do this because so often they see this number and then they don't pay attention to more or less. So what is 100 less than 723? We're looking for 100 less. Step one, draw your place value chart, HTO, draw your lines, and insert this number that's over here, 7 two, three. Okay, so we've done this. We need to take a look at what place are we looking at? What place is going to be changing in this question? Well, the number 100 is there. We need to look at the hundreds place. Are we looking for 100 more or 100 less? Is this number going to have more or less on it whenever we make the change? It's going to have less. We know that this 7 is worth 700, and we know that 100 less than 700 is 600 making this seven turn into a six. 100 less than 723 is the number 623. That is your answer. This is very tricky for students. It seems like it's so easy and such an easy concept, but they really do struggle. So I would do several examples. Um, I would switch them up and not do all 100 more for 20 minutes and then all 100 less. I would kind of mix them around once your student has a general understanding so that they can practice, practice this identifying of what they need to be doing. 
I'm going to have three more examples just for you to kind of see. That way if your child needs some more um, practice with it, they can watch me do it. So what is 10 more than 341? So I accidentally didn't write the number and I spelled out the word, but that may happen on the test, so it's okay that that happened. We need to underline what they're looking for. In this instance, we're looking for 10 more. All we do is we write our H-T-O, come and we draw our lines, and we insert our number, 341. Now, we are not looking for 100 more. Down here, we said we we're looking in the hundreds, so we need to look in the hundreds place. If it's asking for 10 more, we need to look at the tens place. The hundreds place is not changing. The ones place is not changing. The only number that's changing is the tens place because we're only looking at the 10. We're looking at 10 more. If you ask your child, what's the value of this four? They should know that four tens is the value of 40. Well, what's 10 more than 40? If they can count by tens, they should know 30, 40, 50. 50 is 10 more. And we know that one more than four is five. So instead of four tens, we'll have five tens, making our answer 351. Next question, what is 10 less than 982? First step, what are we looking for here? We're looking for 10 less. Let's draw our HTO chart. Let's get that place value chart drawn. Insert our 982 for 982. Now, are we looking for the hundreds or are we looking for the tens? We're looking for the tens. We need to focus in on this box. Nothing changes here, nothing changes here. 10 less than 982. Well, we know that if we have eight tens, we need to go 10 less than that. So 10 less than eight tens is seven tens because we know that 80 take away 10 equals 70. So instead of 982, we're gonna have 900. 72. And the final question, I apologize, I'm going quick. I just don't want to bore you here. What is 100 less than 409? Well, we're looking for 100 less. We're drawing our place value chart, our HTO. Please don't make your students write these words out. It will stress them out and waste their energy. We need to insert our 409. Now we're taking a look at the hundreds place. So we're looking at the hundreds place, 100 less. Well, we know the value of that four is really 400. We know that 100 less than 400 is 300. So instead of this being a four, it's going to be a three, making this answer 309. If you do make additional examples for your kids, don't worry about doing anything where you're going to have to borrow. For example, if I asked for 10 less in here, that would take us down to the 300s and you'd have to change the 100s place as well. Don't worry about doing that. Give them pretty basic ones where they won't have to borrow and regroup and do all of that. If you have any more questions about this or would like to see any additional examples, please feel free to email me. Thank you.